जय श्री माता जी सभी साधकों का सभी सहयोगी भाई बहनों का ध्यान सत्र में स्वागत करते हैं सामूहिक बंधन तीन महामंत्र और श्री गणेश मंत्र चित्त सहस्त्रार पर कायम रखते हुए थोड़ी देर ध्यान करेंगे
इसी ध्यान की अवस्था में हम श्री माता जी की अमृतवाणी आत्मसात करेंगे टुडे इज द नाइनटींथ सहस्त्रारा डे इफ यू काउंट द फर्स्ट वन द डे सहस्त्रारा वजू I'll have to the I'll have to tell you the story about this Sastra day about which it was decided long time back before I incarnated they had a big meeting in the heavens all the 35 crores of gods the deities were there present to decide what is to be done this is the ultimate that we have to do to human beings so to open their sastrara to open their awareness to the spirit to the real knowledge of the divine to remove the darkness of ignorance and it had to be spontaneously because it has to work the living force of god also it had to be very quick so all the gods requested that now i the adi shakti has to take the birth they all tried their best they did whatever was possible the saints were made by them but very few they incarnated and people made religions out of them which were perverted brought them bad name no reality in those religions these religions were money oriented or power oriented there was no divine force working actually it was all anti divine how to now turn human beings away from these superficial religions is perverted paths of destruction how to tell them about all these established organizations for ages they have been ruling making money making power it was a tremendous task had to be done with great patience and the law it was a very delicate work also because they believed in those religions innocent people simple people to blast them that this is all nonsense there are no religions they are against the incarnation against all the prophets against all the saints that's why all the real saints had to suffer it's a powerful work that was to be done and that's why adi shakti had to take birth on this earth it had to be before the 6th of may because 6th of may 
was the doomsday in that year. So it was done on the 5th of May at the nick of the time. It was all decided beforehand. And every deity's job was allotted to all of them. Very efficient deities, very obedient. They knew me very well, completely dedicated and devoted. They knew me ev very, very well, every end of my hair they knew. I didn't have to teach them protocol. Love itself gives you protocol. But love that is divine is not selfish love. It's not the way we love my child, my husband, my country, my clothes. It is the love which is divine, which spreads from your heart, from your spirit, like the light of knowledge. What a tremendous task it was. So, I said, at Sahasrara, I had to be Mahamaya. I had to be Mahamaya. I had to be something that people can't recognize me easily. But deities? No. This Maya, Mahamaya had to come on this earth. Not the Adi Shakti in her purest form is too much. So she was covered with this Mahamaya. Now you see, in nineteen years, what we have achieved. So many yogis are sitting before. The difference between a saint and a yogi is that a saint himself is righteous, himself is holy, but he doesn't know much about the Kundalini. But the yogi knows about the Kundalini. But the difference between a yogi and a Sahaja Yogi, Sahaja Yogi, is that Sahaja Yogi has powers. And Sahaja Yogini has powers to give realization to others. A yogi can cleanse himself, but he cannot cleanse others, while a Sahaja Yogi can cleanse others and cleanse himself. So this is the superior most state which you achieved through your great punyas, I should say. So many of you have been searching the truth in previous lives and now here you are to achieve what you have been searching. All that has happened now so beautifully. You are not even aware what has happened to you. Automatically, spontaneously you have got the powers within your central nervous system in a split of a second. Your attention has been fixed now. Of course, even now some people don't have. Even now I see 
the tension wobbles. But so many of you have achieved that state as he was saying, Shivo hum, Shivo hum, Shivo hum. You have it. What Adi Shankaracharya has described about himself, you can say that about all of you. So many Adi Shankaracharya sitting before me. But still, I am a Mahamaya. I just behave like you. I too have a family. I too have children which can be called as mine and you are my children too. So when you are matured enough, the first sign is that you get discretion. That's divine discretion is love again. But I see people falter. They don't mind saying, Mother, I am catching on my agya. Why? You know how to cleanse it. You know what to do about it. Why don't you clean it? Why don't you get to it? What is the thing? The maya. First starts the problem of family, my wife, my mother, my brother, my husband, my children, all right? That's Maya. With that you get drowned. Again you are brought up. Then subtler and subtler this Maya becomes. The situation of the family improves, everybody knows that. But so many falter. So many get lost in Sahaja Yoga because they had a bad wife or a bad husband. You have to ascend alone yourself. You don't have to depend on others. And those who do not allow you to ascend have to be thrown away. Nothing is more important than your ascent, higher and higher, because it has a very great divine purpose, the ultimate, the climax, where the whole humanity is to be saved through your efforts. You have to work it out. And at this, situation, we see the thousand petals. These are the powers of Virata within you. And this is where we falter, that the light of the Sahasrara is the Brahmarandra, which is your heart chakra. Now the heart chakra can be also misunderstood very much. And this misunderstanding always comes from the Mahamaya for testing. Like, we have say we have to have a family. We must have good families. We must have good children. Immediately, the Mahamaya acts. We start worrying about the husband, worrying about the family. We should be our family. There's a saying in Sanskrit, Udara Charitanam Vasudai Vasud Kutumbaka. The one who are of a character of saints, the whole world is their family. You worry about an individual family so that the collective family is strengthened. Not to worry about individual families so that 
the collective suffers. And if there is such a family, Thai, better throw it away. We have to sacrifice. No sacrifice, it's only getting rid of the disease. So we waste our time with our children, with our family, which is very small. Then the situation changes in different areas. That's the compassion, the love and affection. We believe that we have to love surgeries. I asked somebody to go away because he had a disease and he told me lies. So a negative person's attention will go to him more. And we try to look after that person more than to other surgeons. Do you have more compassion and love than I, I have? Why do you get attracted to people who are out of surgery? Why do you sympathize with people who are like this? You are not here to help the downtrodden, the poor, the so-called suffering people. No, you are not incarnations. You are not here to help women who are crying all the time and to children who had to be separated from their parents. It's a hospital that we are in. We are getting cured, all of us. Have you heard of a patient going and helping other patients? Is the doctors have to do the job. But Sir Yogi is always, in the beginning, used to fall a prey to this kind of an appeal, like a bad apple and there are many good apples. How can the good apples cure the bad apple, can they? Even if you put twenty thousand on top of that bad apple, it will spoil all others. That's not your job, that's the job of God. Only thing what you can do is to pull that person in the collectivity showing that you are wrong, you are wrong, you are wrong and you have to be all right. But these ideas, I don't know from where they have crawled, that there is nothing like evil in this world. There is nothing like bad in this world, there is evil. There is something bad. And you can know if your vibrations are correct, your discretion is correct, you know immediately. So you waste your energies in correcting people who can never, never be corrected. I'm forgetting that you have not corrected the person, on the contrary, you are corrupted. That means you are not yet matured enough. In the breaking of the Sahasrara, I have never left anything under. It's a perfect job. Your nerves are not hurt. Your brain is not hurt. Such a powerful Kundalini comes up. How sweetly, beautifully, delicately she pierces through, only a thread comes out and how then the connection is established and the relaxation starts coming in on the sympathetic, how all the beautifully chakras open 
and more of the, these threats coming up. Now you are also told how to work it out. You know all the technical know-how, but what you don't know, that you are not yet a perfect machine. You have to perfect yourself. Moreover, there's a Mahamaya. She doesn't take you for granted, that's the trouble. With you. She puts you deliberately into temptations. Deliberately she gives you positions. Now leaders, world leaders, universe leaders, So, you developed first one tail, then one horn, and then something comes out of Sahasra Raj. You look like a clown. To test you, she may marry you to funny people also. This testing has to be done. That's the job of a Mahamaya. She has to test you. Gold has to be tested, the diamond has to be tested, all that is valuable has to be tested. Without that, how can you certify? It's not like going to the church, somebody puts the water on your head, all right, now you are baptized, finished, now you are chosen. The water will evaporate in no time. And when you'll go to God, he'll say, how are you baptized? This water. Where is it? I can't see. So all these things are to be understood in right perspective. They are for our ascent, for our benevolence, for our higher state. But for that, you must know we have to fix up our whole will to it. When people climb, say, Himalayas, what do they do? They take a big nail, nail it at a higher point, then tie up a rope and climb up to that. They don't look down, then put another nail up there climb up that, to that and that's how they climb Himalaya. Now what do we do in Sahaja Yoga? We take a nail from the top, put it downward. First day when you get Realization, the experience is tremendous. Then one by one, coming down, the other way down. But as soon as you get Realization, if you are intelligent enough, then you decide, how should I fix up myself? Like, decide like this, supposing you are very fond of milk, take it like this. Now you should say, till I achieve a certain state, I will not take milk. But that should not be treated as a sacrifice, but as a joyous ascent. Do the people who nail upwards to go to the top of Himalayas, do they feel they are sacrificing something? If you start thinking that, oh God, I have sacrificed milk, then you finished, downward movement starts. But if you like something, then you have to say, all right, if I like it, let me like my ascent more than this. Till I have ascended, I will not have. Such determination should be there. And without that, how do you think you can get over the horrible, monstrous, mountain of ignorance that you have got. Actually, in Realization, I put you on the top of the mountain, but you start slipping down. 
So you have to keep to that topmost point. I tell you about everything. You go and ask any one of the saints or any one of the great uh, incarnations, did they know so much about Kundalini? If they had, they would have written about it. They have never written anything about Kundalini. If they have, it's very little, to such an extent that it acts on your fingertips, that now we have brought science close to reality, the truth, the divine, science, all explained. It's become completely integrated now with us. Sahaja Yoga is the most scientific thing that you could think of, exact, the biggest computer that you are. But the computer has to be workable. And therefore we have failed. And we fail every day. Sometimes it is disastrous, horrible. Now, nineteen years we have had this astra, and eighteen years I have worked. You have to now understand your responsibility. We have to emancipate the human beings. We don't want to do anything that is little out of the way. Now, Sostra Day is on the fifth. But we must celebrate today because everybody must have a Sunday holiday. According to our conveniences, we have to work out everything. All right, doesn't matter, it's permitted. But the deities, they are working twenty-four hours all the months and all the years now, continuously. because they have a continuous supply of energy, which you can also have. The importance given to your ascent is very little, I think, compared to the growth of eighteen years. You know, in the Western countries, after eighteen years you are regarded as adults, no more children. You all have become now adults. What else? All right. I don't know how far you have grown. I don't know really, you are still big babies or you have really achieved that state of adulthood. And there at that time you are given lots of concessions and freedoms and rights. You have already all rights. If you want to go to heaven, you can go. If you want to go to hell, you can go. All freedom, no problem on that. But the adults are those who have discretion, who know what is the purpose of their life, who can do anything to achieve that purpose, who have powers to fight and understand. While I find people who are even grown-up people in Sahaja Yoga behave in such a manner that you are surprised. How do you get impressed by superficial people, by superficiality? If somebody is very sweet to talk, that means that person is good, that person is divine, does 
On the contrary, a divine person is never that sweet that you get sick of that sweetness. It has to keep both the reins in the hand. Yes, freedom, all right. The accelerator, all right, also the brake. But you always like a person who pampers your ego, says something very sweet. What does it take to say sweet these days? People are training them in that kind of an artificiality. You must judge a person on their vibrations. But as it is, because you are superficial, you cannot feel the vibrations. You pay attention to people who are nonsensical. Now accept one thing at that point, that you have to still mature. That you don't accept, then your ego comes up, oh God, or you feel guilty. How will you progress there? Only thing you have to do is to get into the boat, that's all, fully. But here you put your foot in the mouth of a crocodile, all right? If you take it out from there in the mouth of a shark, and the boat is pulling you, which way you stand? But the worst are human sharks and crocodiles because they never show you their teeth, they never show you their eyes, they cover themselves with such deceitful appearances, such dubious behavior that you can't see them unless and until you are a realized soul. So now here we go further in our adulthood. And a woman who is brought up properly in her adulthood develops her shyness, her shame, her sense of chastity. As a child she doesn't know all that. But here the other way now, as soon as they become adult, they go amok. Boys become vagabonds. When it is adulthood, it never happens with animals. I don't know what is this. But we are Sahaj yogis and we have our Sahaj culture. We live with our culture, proud of it and this is our religion. We have our pure religion on which we thrive. We are not going to change. Ourselves we are going to change the whole world. We have a culture of our own and we are going to behave in that manner which is going to change the whole world. This is our responsibility. You are chosen for this world. You are the real chosen one. You are the real pure ones. You are the ones who have established the Khalistan. Be aware of it, of your responsibility. Be aware of your powers. The greatest power that you have is of divine love, not the stupid love that blinds you and that you fall in love, but you rise in love. The way we talk, the way we walk, the way we live, the way we behave, everything has to be Sahaj. And it is such a real living culture of beautiful people in the world. You see, in the animals, in the birds we see a swan, is described among animals, the elephant, which has the wisdom, the swan that knows how to separate water from milk. Then among human beings, Sahaja Yogis, today in these modern times, I think by the time it is twenty-one years, will be all 
very well established, matured, wonderful sajogis, pulling out this mad world from its ignorance and from its mind, will be that powerful people of love, of understanding, of discretion and of humility. I would like to see those days in my lifetime. I hope you will give me full assistance. You have to know there's only one point was fixed in this meeting of the devas. And that I cannot overcome. They said, we'll tolerate any nonsense because they are coming from ignorance. But anybody who doesn't love you, anybody who insults you, anybody who takes advantage of you, anybody who exploits you, anybody who shows lack of protocol, anybody who doesn't recognize you, will hit them hard and that permission you must give us. Otherwise we are not for this work. They formed a union against me. And I had to give in. I'm very careful, I tell you, don't touch me, be careful. Some people just try to put my sari right. You not to do, don't have to do that. Don't play with my money. Don't take my hospitality. Be careful. I tell you, as much as I can, and this is what it is. One side is Mahamaya, another side is deities, and poor Sahaja Yogi is in between. I sympathize with you, I know. But you better be careful. It's a razor sage, I think, of course. But otherwise, it's wonderful. If these two things, if you know, that this is Mahamaya and that the deities are around sitting now here, all of them peering into you, all of them judging you, having a big meeting there, who is who, where is the attention of this gentleman, where is he looking, what is he doing, They're all sitting here. But at the same time they have flowers divine flowers, divine blessings and all the angels are just going around, I can see them. Your cameras can catch them. You've got photographs and we'll show you all of them sitting. And it's already predicted that the whole world will come down at the lotus feet of your mother and that you will decide the future of this world. It's written already fourteen thousand years back and there's another one who is prophesizing the same. So you have to be aware. Where is your attention? What are we worried about? Where are we spending our time? Leave your children to me. Leave your families to me. You can only keep your purse. But the rest of it, you can leave all your headaches to me. But don't Play tricks with me. Mahamaya knows all your tricks, everything, in and out. If I want to know, I can know each and everything about you. I don't want to know. Under these circumstances, we are supported looked after. 
managed, taken to reality so easily, so much with care. You tell me, Mother, suddenly I went there, and what do I find? Sergio is sitting there. And we wanted to know someone, he was just there. How was it? You are assisted. Here these Prime Ministers have only five, six bodyguards. You have millions and millions, each one of you with you. Nobody can touch you except for you can harm yourself, that's all. Nobody can harm. So today, again a day of great determination and taking a vow that for us our ascent is the only concern, is the only idea, nothing else, and it will work out. All the rest will be taken care of. We have all the mechanics to do that. But first give it to the mechanics to work out. All will work in a reflex action. Clear? Clear out your chakras. Don't say, I have this, I have that. Just clear out, how dare I have all these problems? How dare I have all these chakras still lingering? Clear out. Morning, evening, clear out. I'm sure it will work out. Next year, I hope I'll have some good news. May God bless you.
जय श्री माता जी परम पूज्य श्री माता जी के पावन चरणों में प्रार्थना अर्पित करते हैं परम पूज्य श्री माता जी कृपावंत होकर हमें ऐसी स्थिति प्रदान कीजिए कि हमारे हृदय में सभी के लिए प्रेम की भावना हो क्षमा और करुणा की भावना हो सभी के लिए हमारे हृदय में असीम प्रेम भर दीजिए परम पूज्य श्री माता जी हमारे व्यक्तित्व से हमारे जीवन से यही प्रेम परावर्तित हो और जो भी हमारे संपर्क में आए वे इसी प्रेम से आलोकित हो और आनंदित हो ऐसी स्थिति कृपा कर हमें प्रदान कीजिए परम पूज्य श्री माता जी संपूर्ण समर्पण की भावना आप कृपा कर हम में भर दीजिए तव पाद पद्मी माता सर्वम समर्पयामी इस तरह की स्थिति कृपावंत होकर आप हमें प्रदान कीजिए जय श्री माता जी सामूहिक बंधन आज का ध्यान संपन्न होता है जय श्री माता जी